having a mobile responsive online store is a must. With more shoppers browsing on their phones, it's super important that your store looks sleek and works flawlessly on any screen size. Hey there, I'm Kate from PageFly. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your PageFly page mobile friendly in just a few easy steps. Ready to dive in? Let's go! So here we are in the PageFly page editor. Just a quick heads up, any elements you drag and drop here are automatically set to show on all devices. Firstly, I will guide you how to adjust the section layout in mobile. For sections with a layout consisting of one column for an image or video and another for text, you can customize their arrangement specifically for mobile viewers. Switch to mobile view, then click on the row that contains those columns. Head to styling tab, scroll down to find display and select flex for display style. Set flex direction to column reverse. This step will reverse the column order, giving you the ability to tailor their layout specifically for mobile display. For more details about flex feature, let's check the video showing on the top right corner or check video in the description box. With PageFly, you can even hide elements on specific devices, allowing you to create multiple designs within a single page. I have this section, but I just want to show it on mobile only. Let's click on the section, then navigate to general visibility in the right sidebar. Enable hide on desktop, laptop, tablet to ensure the section only appears on mobile view. This way is also work for row, column, and specific element. Next, I will guide you how to change number of items per row. On mobile, the lists like product list, collection list, or content list usually show two items side by side to fit everything comfortably on the smaller screen. But the good news is you can customize this. For example, I will click on this product list, navigate to the general tab, then find items per row. Feel free to adjust this setting to select the preferred number of items displayed per row. To optimize for mobile viewing, it's advisable to limit the number of items per row to one or two, to enhance readability and ease of navigation for your customers. With just a few clicks, you can customize the styling specifically for mobile devices. You can directly adjust the styling parameters for each element within the styling tab. Clicking on any element allows you to view how it appears on different devices. For instance, let's say this section has a certain style. If you want to make slight adjustments for mobile devices, click on this icon to switch to the mobile view. From there, you can modify settings like the background color. Next, let's talk about font size of the text. You added a big heading that looks great in all devices, but oversized and unappealing on small screen devices. Don't worry as you can easily edit the heading specifically for mobile devices by reducing the font size and it won't affect to other devices. Another common case regarding the spacing. For example, I have this hero banner and I wanna move the content to the right. So I add padding to the container, but that will make the content disappear on mobile view. All you need to do is check the spacing of the section and remove unnecessary padding or set it to zero. Then the content will be visible. So it's advisable to refrain from using padding or margin adjustments to align an element to the center. Instead, choose the text alignment or content position to achieve center alignment. If you wish to display a different image specifically for mobile devices, let's modify the background image accordingly. For example, I have this image on all device, but I want to show different image for mobile. I will use background image to do this, click on the section, row or column that you want to change background image. I will click on this section, then go to styling tab, scroll down to background image, switch to mobile view, click clear, and select to choose new image. Now let's save and publish the page to check it on the mobile view. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos. Thanks for watching.